difference between professional fighters and black belters who are very focused on whatever craft they participate in. Use of different skills. And on the other hand, we have dedicated black belters who only master one skill. Measuring both abilities, you have a set of people that have mastered several skills for a period of time. And then there's another set who have spent their entire lives mastering one particular skill. Which of these guys do you think has the higher advantage? Well, to answer that question, we'll be looking at several occasions where black belts went head to head with professional fighters and how it ended. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video. Ryan Hall versus Ilya Tapor belt in Jiu Jitsu conformed to Hall's style of fight. As the fight continued and the first round had almost come to an end, Taporia successfully found himself in a position that allowed him to get into a ground battle with the high-level black belt. The match ended with a huge shocker as he ended up becoming the very first man to knock out Hall. MMA fighter against Taekwondo fighter under the rules of kickboxing. Over the years, we've watched many champions with some of the most brilliant finishes emerge from the Taekwondo martial art, of course, not a professional match. The Taekwondo fighter, dressed in his gi, as you can tell, attacks his opponent, an MMA fighter, with a very effective yet legal strike. But once his opponent's back on his feet, they continue the session. This fight slowly becomes very competitive as there's little to no room for either of the fighters, but soon the MMA fighter is able to land a two-piece to the body, one that we can agree would have hurt badly. And to put an end to both their misery, the MMA fighter delivered a solid knee and brought the fight to an end. Tyron Woodley against Andrea Galvo, welterweight division. But that was all before he had an encounter with Jake Paul and was knocked out cold on the canvas. On the other hand, we have the renowned black belt, Andrea Galvo, who's an ADCC champion as well as a super fight champion in ADCC and even an IBJJF champion. The point is, over the years, Galvo's been able to acquire a long list of championships. But it's also at the top of that table. What would you expect when you hear Andrea Galvo going up against Teron Woodley? Galvo's unending attacks to take him out. After Woodley made the most unexpected move that even had Galvo, Woodley did a number on Galvo. Even after struggling to get back to his feet, Woodley went at him again with another takedown. And so seeing how much this did to the Brazilian force, the referee decided to put an end to the fight. Direction, Don Lay against Gary Tonin. If you've never heard of the Donaher Death Squad, these were a group of amazing jiu-jitsu fighters that were tutored by John Donaher. Unfortunately, this group of men had a reputation for not showing any form of sportsmanship. Ironically, these men have all come out to become one of the most skilled fighters in our world today. The leg attack of master jiu-jitsu Ryan Hall decided to assist his teammate Don Lay in preparing for his fight against Gary Tonin. By the way, Tonin had even more knowledge about using his legs in a fight. And so without wasting any more time, Tonin was able to get himself into the perfect position as he continued to switch jiu-jitsu attacks with the main focus on his opponent's legs. Lay, on the other hand, kept his composure as he fired punches every chance he got. Soon, one of these punches hit Gary, and just like that, the lights were out for him, leaving everyone shocked. Moral of the story? Being a one-dimensional fighter, is it best for business? The unfortunate case of Rodolfo Vieira. Hearing a name like the Black Belt Hunter immediately paints a picture of a person insanely great at jiu-jitsu. And this is the picture Rodolfo Vieira's entire personality puts forward to the world. Inarguably, watching this man fight would make you agree that he is, in fact, very vast in this field. The fighter earned himself a black belt under Master Julio Cesar Pereira, a man known to be one of the best fighters in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. However, just like most one-dimensional fighters, Vieira decided to move into MMA. Now, while he may train like some versatile fighter, the fact remains that his instincts always drive him to grapple at every chance he gets. Luckily for him, that never stood in the way of achieving an insane record of 7-0, with all these wins being by stoppage and two of these wins being in the UFC. Now you'll understand why everyone gave him all the support over Anthony Hernandez, who was coming off a loss. In the beginning, Vieira pushed off very strongly, even to the point of getting on top of Hernandez, place on top. But leaving everyone with their mouths hanging, Hernandez found his way out of the lock to get through to the second round. Getting into the second round, Hernandez left no breathing space as he continued to pound at Vieira, putting so much pressure on the Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, and five his hands raised high, he won during the one thing Vieira couldn't achieve in over five matches, 
the perfect submission. Hernandez doing the almost unthinkable. Well, I guess it's no longer about how fast you're able to get at it, but how well. And hopefully, Rodolfo Vieira learned that same lesson. Multiple black belts against a simple MMA fighter. Considering the resume and the skills that Raymond Daniels brings to the table, it's not surprising that any and every other MMA fighter wants to have a chance to go head-to-head -head against him. However, with all the things these ones might want to do with Raymond Daniels, it's important to know that beating him doesn't come easy. And Wilker Barros can testify to that after going up against Daniels. With exceptional footwork and unpredictable moves, Raymond was able to keep Wilker from taking any shots at him. But none of that stopped Wilker from trying to take that shot and clinching the kicker. Unfortunately, that didn't end as he wanted. Instead, Raymond was able to land a spinning kick that had Wilker staggering for a minute. Even after regaining his balance and remaining frozen on the spot, Raymond came at him again, spinning over and over until he finally struck with a right hand that knocked Wilker out completely, resulting in a win. Of course, this isn't a fight like any of the ones in this video. However, one thing every single one of these fights had in common was the fact that the winners were all well-rounded and versatile. As we already mentioned, it's important to know that being a one-dimensional fighter can't ever be good for business. Variety isn't only the spice of life, it could in fact save your life. So what do you think? Drop your comments below and I'll catch you later. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting that like button and if you're new around here, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thank you very much for watching.